Hello viewers and welcome to a bit of gameplay in the Janettas. I always watch the Janetta Juniors when they're being shown, when uh, being shown with the uh, British Touring Car Championship. They're always exciting races, smaller cars than you realise in fact. And uh, just doing a bit of racing here, testing the CSL Elite with P1 uh, rim from Fnatic uh, on Project Cars, running here on the Xbox One. Some great audio as well here. Nice bit of grunt here. Of course, it seems to be uh, cars just sort of seem to slow down excessively in the apex. Hence the uh, bit of an accident there. Um, but there we go. He's out the way. And I'm on my way again. So trying to close up on these guys in front. So the wheel. Uh, I've been over this before in a few videos, but I always like to reiterate that uh, if you're playing on an Xbox One, this is a premium wheel. For PC and console not, I mean there are more premium wheels on the PC like the club sport itself but in terms of consoles at the moment this is a, a really nice piece of kit uh, the P1 rim itself is quite weighty nice and grippy sort of rubber exterior to it but it feels nice it feels authentic it's a nice weight to it uh, and of course when it comes to the game itself it's very much a case of dialing in the handling yourself but I will say that the in terms of how the wheel was suited to the game it was suited with very little needing to be done to it, it worked very well obviously uh, in terms of improving your wheel handling and force feedback you can do that in various settings but uh, very nice to use it doesn't use the onboard LEDs which is a shame I wonder if they ever will in the future but of course it will be compatible or it's supposed to be compatible with the new upcoming Xbox Scorpio as well so of course you'll be able to use this on new titles such as Forza Motorsport 7 amongst a host of others on Xbox One and the Scorpio and PC. So really nice selection there as I'm working my way around there. The uh, cars are all sort of threading themselves out nicely. I'm just trying to work my way around see how I get on. So, you know, I'm still impressed with how this runs on Xbox One great in terms of also 60 frames per second replays which for independent studio is great and it, it makes me look forward to project cars too you know looking at what they've got here building on it and improving on it there's a lot to look forward to and hopefully we'll be getting some access to project cars too later this year uh, and testing it with all the latest wheels as well to uh, see how they work out of the box as well as with some refinements as well so I'm going to leave you to a little bit of gameplay on this now and there'll be more from me, more sort of general wheel testing and general coverage as we work through uh, all the different racing titles and look forward to some of the new titles coming out later this year. As ever, if you have any questions, always feel free to ask us on Twitter. Uh, we can include those in the weekly video podcast. Do check out the podcast uh, because it, it really we do take the time to answer all of your questions and go through all the different issues happening in the world of racing gaming in a frank conversation manner so uh, that's it from me for now and there'll be more from me very soon